Somebody, hey guys, we are here at a village that is has been affected by the flood and we came with the Thai rescue unit. It's the very oh same God. guys that had rescued the 13 kids that were in the caves. So we're really excited to work with them. We helped them prepare the food, about a thousand box and packages. And they do this twice a day. They would do it three times a day, but the time is very limited because it takes an hour and a half to get here and then an hour and a half to get back. It's only literally just nine miles. It takes a lot because of the um, the muddy road condition. So bless her heart, they're doing an awesome job. And we also were able to bring a few more trucks full of donated goods as well. Umbrellas, which they would need because their homes have all been displaced. Um, you know, some of them have homes that are still standing, but it's too muddy for them to go back to. Eventually, they will be able to use the tent that we give them when the water um, subsides more and when it's drier. But right now, we're just focusing on the basic needs, and we're really grateful that we can be here to actually really assess the situation. As you can pan in on these children, how lovely they are. And the Chinese are here as well to provide medical aid for them over there in that other, other, other location. But this is the center. This would be the refugee camp. It's the third refugee camp. There's two closer to the city that are not as muddy, but this is the third one. It's the worst of them, and it's the hardest to get to. So they are the ones that actually receive the least amount of aid is in this third refugee camp. Um, so this is what your donation is going to help help to rebuild these um, villages, especially the poor that got hit the most hardest. Um, you know, a lot of people have expressed that why are we here at the initial stage, and. Um, you know, for us, it's about assessing the situation, um, finding the greatest needs of how we can help in the long-term recovery of it. It's, when a lot of these aids leave, you know, it's left to, to rebuild, and that's what Jalau is gonna focus on, especially with your funding. I want to focus in on it. Okay, we're gonna have, it's really, it's, it's a madhouse here right now. Um, there is much more that we'd like, we'd love to give it to everybody here, and within the budget that we have from the funds you guys gave us, we can't afford to do this. The only problem is getting here. Um, there's only special approval to get here. And we were even told to leave our things here, which we can't because we're afraid to not come to people in the right source. So now we're doing it for families in Sanctum Village. And they're the neatest of it all right now. And we do it for family. Again, we can learn more than this, but unfortunately, we can't. We have to have special permission to get here to this third refugee camp, as well as the fact that it's really hard to access this location. Okay. Hopefully when the water subsides even more when it gets dry, that's why we need to do a recovery program where we can come back and provide more aid. Uh -huh. And we'll be able to provide more once we can access this location back better. It's just a matter of um, not having the right vehicles and getting the special permission to do so. Um, there's about 500 refugees here right now. And um, their neediest need is, a t is tents and blankets. Which we have all that, but unfortunately, that's why the um, the Jailau recovery program is really important for us to do because this is only the tip of the iceberg, you guys. Um, here, you go ahead. Here, I'll just report. Um, as I said, the aid that we're providing today is only the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot more in the recovery program. These people have lost their homes. They've been displaced. Most of these people are in the, in, in the camps, the four camps that are available. And um, those that come back to their home has no solid home. It's wet. Um, two villages have lost all but three of their homes. And St. John is the village that we're distributing to initially. And then whatever's left of St. John, we're going to distribute to other villages. We have tons left of your generous donations in our 40 feet truck. But unfortunately, we can't bring that. Even the truck is parked at the city town limit. And then we have to bring a truck into it. And then eventually after that, we bring an off-road vehicle that was provided to us by the generous guys, the very friendly guys at the rescue. Um, group here in Thailand that rescued the 13 cave boys in the cave. And this is going to happen for a while. And they're projecting it to be maybe a couple more months. Um, you know.
you don't know what situation until you are actually really here to see the magnitude of the help that is needed. Very limited people is able to come here. So we're very lucky that we're able to have access to this location right here. Uh, so that way we can see the severity of it and know what the impact of the collapsed flood damage has done. Um, we're going to need your help to help us rebuild um, all these villages, particularly the four villages that hit the hardest. And that's Jalau's mission is to be able to provide that. Um, Long-term goal. So anyways, um, what can I say? Thanks for your generosity that you guys have made this possible, but it's only just the beginning. We wish that we could provide more aid, but unfortunately, it's transportation that's a big issue. Getting in here requires special permission, and even the uh, uh, transportation is something that we can't have that kind of access to. So we definitely have to wait until the water subsides and it's dry, but unfortunately it is um, monsoon season, so we might have to wait a couple of months until we can, we can come back and provide the aid. Um, anyways, um, that's all I have to say. I want to thank you guys again, and let's continue to work together and help us all these wonderful people that definitely are very grateful. A lot of them, you can tell in their facial expression and their heart how much gratitude they have for us and helping them. So again, I want to just thank you guys so much for supporting. I can't thank you enough with all my wise, just not enough. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys soon at another village tomorrow. Sign off. Let anybody do it but ourselves because we trust no one but us. And we have to make sure that everybody gets it. If not everybody, at least people that are here and as much as we can get like for them. So that's more important than